Hello, this is Carol Lemke from BC Gurus, and this is the introduction video to modules. So what is a module and why should I utilize them on my Business Catalyst website? Well, a module is a self-contained unit that represents a reusable page element that can be inserted onto a page or template, in a web app item, in a content holder, and so on, multiple times, which can make it a very powerful feature that is built into BC. An instance of your module can be inserted in different places all over your site, but it only exists in one area in the back end. This means that if you ever need to make any additions, edits, or remove the individual module items, you can do so in one area and it will update every instance of the module throughout your site. But let's be clear here, a module can be many things, but it is not an independent self-contained unit of a spacecraft here, as Google may lead you to believe if you were to Google the definition of module. So for a table of contents, let's talk about what we will be covering in this video series. There will be a different video for each of the modules below. Starting with the events module, this is a module that allows you to create an event that a visitor can register for and BC will track the number of available places for you. That way you won't have to worry about people registering after the event has already reached capacity. The next module is photo galleries. This is a module that allows you to display a collection of images on your website. BC automatically renders thumbnails at the dimensions of your choice and once clicked on, the full-size image will appear within a pre-built light box. News. This is a module that lets you display links to news items and announcements on your site. Each of these news items will have a link to its own page where you can share more details of the news item if needed. Media Downloads, a module that lets visitors download media such as PDF files, Word documents, videos, and music. BC has also created icons that represent each file type so you don't have to. FAQs, a module that lets you easily show and organize all the FAQs on your site. You can choose to have the question linked to a separate answer page, or choose to use a toggle effect, meaning that when a question is clicked on, the answer will appear below. This is done with Ajax. BC also offers a built-in search feature for your visitors to use specifically for finding the right FAQ. Add Rotators, a module that will display a group of HTML, images, or flash when the browser is refreshed. This makes content appear fresh without you having to go in and update content manually. Forums, a module that acts as a medium where ideas and views on a particular issue can be exchanged. Your visitors are able to create topics and respond to posts from the front end of the website. You have the option of letting visitors post freely or moderating comments before they go live on the site. And the last one being site search a module that allows you to provide full site search functionality. The site search will search throughout the web page content, media downloads, search through news, FAQs, and web app items. You can also choose to exclude certain items from search results, say only include web pages and news but not web app items or FAQs. For each of these videos, I will walk you through the back end of BC to go through basic module setup for each and also review how to customize the appearance for each module. Coming with this video series are some resources. I will be providing a checklist for each module that includes basic setup instructions, code references and samples, and any tips and recommendations for that specific module. I will also include a list of specific links to resources and tools that I will recommend you check out.